Well, hello, Rock Hounds. It's uh, December 13, pretty warm, 8 degrees outside. I'm in a location close to Niagara Falls. And I found a very nice thing, nice bolt. As you can see, it's full of cavities and really cracked. I'm really looking for purple fluoride. I found quite a few uh, clear ones, but I'm gonna document uh, cracking this rock. Uh, probably nothing's gonna be there interesting, but I just want you to see. Uh, maybe we find something good. I was trying to position my camera, some my phone, but it's very uneven and ragged everywhere here. So I'm just gonna try to hit some areas of this boulder while I'm taping. Maybe you can see something. Let's see this one. It's very hollow. Let's see what we have here. All right, it was super vaggy. That means that throughout all this boulder, there's gonna be something there. So right now I pulled out perhaps nothing special, just some probably calcite. But I'm really hoping for fluoride. Like there's one huge vag here. And I know, look, know they like to be in, encased with calcite. Yeah, so where's that vag here? I wonder what's inside. So anyway, I'm gonna get cracking on this. As you can see, it's falling apart easily. If I find something good, I will show. Uh, and the main uh, uh, find would be blue fluorite, although I wouldn't mind nice spallerite. See you in a few minutes. So this is what's left from the boulder. It's just shards of everything. Unfortunately, I couldn't find blue fluorite. Anything that resembles fluorite is just this a champagne kind of brownish mass around calcite. So anyway, that was a bust, but got my blood pumping. I think this portion of the dump, because you probably know this is Mount Rose dumping, is behind the mountain, closer to the creek, which is behind. There's uh, in the winter there is no no leaves, so you can actually see uh, how much dumping is here. And this is look untouched, and you can actually go into the bush, and you can see the old rock hounds being here years ago, perhaps, or maybe coyote. But anyway, it's easier to see, and also sweet. Uh, date to come here would be no snow, no leaves, which is very rare. So this is why I'm here in December. Okay, so that's a little clue for you guys. The back of the mountain, there is a depression and kind of a creek, dried creek. Let's see if we can some fluoride. Anyway, all the calcite I'm leaving behind because. That's not what I came here for. See you in a few minutes. Yeah, so I am back in a few minutes. So as you can see, this big, uh, very porous rock uh, didn't uh, yield much of what I'm looking for, but uh, I kept digging a little deeper. I have a feeling when they were dumping the rocks, there would be a certain portion of the canal from, on, from which the truck would come and sometimes you, you can see the bands of the dump like let's say here contains lots of calcite a little further there there's very much full of false spar sorry spallerite so anyway I found this boulder this one looks more like a, is dull stone because it's more dense and looks like it's more compressed and I think I'm already on a good uh, path because as you can see this is very nice crystal of uh, calcite here but here you have very nice cube cubics 
they're not purple but they well well formed about inch I say of um, uh, fluorite and this is the boulder and this boulder has also lots of uh, you can see calcite like uh, in this formation looks looks like a rays of Sun that's how calcite crystallizes in the cavities and actually I can see right here in this uh, cavity I don't know if you can see it deeper there there's squarish uh, form of a crystal which is indication that that may have fluorite in it so in next few minutes I I tell you what's going on here yeah so looks like my theory it's um, it's uh, working because I think wherever is cavity with calcite the edge of it it's fluorite zone which if it finds room to grow it crystallizes this one is clear but I see it has tiny uh, purplish halo anyway this one is a keeper because it's probably an inch across maybe almost an inch across and it's nice so that's what I'm gonna keep digging this ridge here so I think that was the portion of quarry or canal that had fluorite in it leaving the area well I can tell you it was an amazing day spent two and a half hours uh, show you at home what I found this is the back of the mountain uh, and back to the car nothing spectacular but very well shaped um, fluoride combo of calcite very happy about that quality over quantity. See you later with the findings. So this is just quick quick recap. What can you find at Montrose? That uh, day there's a little bit of gypsum. Um, there's my fluorite which actually now looks very more purplish in, indoors. Then there is also this very nice uh, little nest of um, fluorite with spray of uh, sphalerite around it just also very nice there's a little more blobby one and again some gesso of dolomite around it one uh, suspect missing is sphalerite the sphalerites I found are not worthy of uh, videoing so a good spot still to visit uh, even in the winter time see you again